I tried to get uh, Mike Bright uh, up here, and uh, you, most of you all know, remember Mike. And How is, is Mike? Mike is Mike is even more curmudgeonly than he ever was. But uh, <laughs> yeah. so I uh, I emailed him and uh, and uh, invited him down, and he said that. Uh, his legs are so bad that he can't, he really can't get around anymore, and he was sorry. And so uh, I, I emailed him back and told him that uh, I was going to be speaking, and that I would say some nice things about him, and about how uh, he always admired me as a player and looked up to me, <laughs> and, uh, and admired my blocking. <laughs> now, you have to know, Mike considered me the worst blocker that he ever played with. He one time said it after one ball ricocheted off my hands and out of bounds. We came down and he looked at me and he says, You are the worst blocker I have ever played with! And I went, Oh God, the worst? And we rotated twice and then the third time and now I'm back left and Mike's right next to me and I said, the worst? And he goes, yes, the worst! Still, so, still. So, so, so he wouldn't come. So at any rate, he then, he then said, so I told him uh, that I would say nice things about him and that how much he admired my blocking, and he emailed me back, and he says, you know, I have to reply to your blocking prowess. He says, it has been said that goldfish, this is a quote from my, <laughs> it has been said that goldfish are so simple that each lap around the bowl is a whole new experience. <laughs> Volleyball friends are that same way. <laughs> Every time I see one, they tell me the same damn story, only slightly embellished. <laughs> so as time goes by, the stories pretty much differ from the original, thus you being a great blocker. Keep swimming your laps, Rags. Maybe they will forget. <laughs> uh, as I was looking at some of the some of the pictures of the uh, that that showed up in the newspaper, uh, one of the ones was of Henry hitting, and he was hitting just you know his his cross-court angle and uh, in the in the background you can see the parking right along the East Beach there and it's all VW vans just like about six of the old VW vans and I, and I, I couldn't help thinking that uh, I just happened to uh, see on the uh, on the news that a Volkswagen a 1970 I believe Volkswagen van that was stolen before it was delivered recently. It was, it was stolen in 1970. And it showed up in a storage container down in some Dallas, or not in Dallas, down in the docks. But it was stored all these years. And uh, the, ins the insurance company, uh, it was in pristine condition. The insurance company checked its records, found out, and that they had paid off that car and they paid it nineteen hundred dollars to pay off that car and they wanted the car back which they got they then auctioned it off for twenty eight thousand oh dollars so i and how does that relate to I, henry I, i'm about to tell you i'm about to tell you i'm i'm thinking I, i'm thinking that maybe some of our memories have have appreciated and valued like those old folks like those old folks way to tie it in the first time I met Henry was when uh, it was a mixed ranking tournament down in uh, at Sorrento Beach. And I was playing with the famous Ron Snyder, who was AAA at that time. And uh, you could have, the, in the missed ranking tournament, you could have one AAA and one AA or single A. And Ronnie was AAA and I was single A. And our first match of the day was against Raffaro and his partner, who turned out to be Henry. And so uh, Ronnie came up and we, uh, we warmed up, we warmed up, and then uh, we obviously said, well, who do you want to serve? Well, let's serve the single leg guy. So we serve Henry, 
kaboom. <laughs> they then served me, and I, I, I sided out. We served Henry again. Kaboom! They served me, I sided out. I went back to Ronnie and I said, what do you think? And he says, let's serve for Pharaoh. <laughs> I really, it might have been, it might have been, but no. Probably Fluger and, Fluger and Lang, Fluger and Lang. There you go. Is that who it was? So, so, it, if, so according to Mike, we're all going to be embellishing our stories, and if I'm embellishing any of these stories, or you're, we're, we're all permitted. The, uh, the, uh, my, you know, my great memories of Henry are the same as we all have, and we don't have to repeat them out how good he was and playing against, you know, playing against Von Hagen and Lang. I mean, that's, that was the highlight. But Henry's cross-court hits, his, the power, his jumping, and, it, and his quiet and his modesty and his, and his understatements. I just, uh, I, I, remember, I remember one particular uh, time when Henry had hit his cross-court angle, I mean, like, I don't know how many times, just over and over. It's just everything is cross court. They've got a, they've got a Joe DiMaggio, you know, a shift on. They got both guys are cross court, and Henry just keeps pounding it that way. And I kept on saying, Henry, would you just please hit the line? <laughs> he says to me, I can't hit the line. I said, Henry, really, they're both over. Just hit the line. I said, I'm going to set you outside. I can't hit the line. So I finally set him outside. Boom! He hits it tries to hit the line, hits it out. He looks at me and goes, see? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Henry, hit it anywhere you want. <laughs> also, also, I remember, I remember one, particular, one particular play down at the Manhattan Beach. I mean, his, his gift for modesty and his, uh, I, I just, I get a kick out of it. There was one particular play that it was against Von Hagen and Lang and it was one of the ones that, our matches that went on endlessly. And uh, Ronnie had hit one, I, uh, Henry got a hand on it, and the ball goes spinning, ricocheting back to the back corner. I go running after it, and I dive backwards and just, you know, just flail at a bump set back up over my head to try to get it somewhere in play. And as I turn around, I can see that it's actually going to be, ended up being a great set. And it just comes right down, and Henry, takes that set that's coming from the service line, behind the service line, and just rifles it straight down in the crowd, just like you just got, just a great play by Henry. You know, and I jump up and I go over to him and he looks at me with just a complete straight face, go, nice set. <laughs> <laughs> nice set? That's, that gets a nice set? <laughs> what would have been a fabulous set, Henry?